Sid, I think. Yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, I was playing beach volleyball uh, pag off-season sa Canada when there's no indoor season. Our coach wanted us to play beach volleyball. And I was playing competitively, but la- not to the extent na, oh, we want to be champions. Like, we just... Mm-hmm. Because we we did we you know we didn't wanna lose um, touches on the ball, so yun I played for fun slash competitively, and then nung pagdating ko dito, uh, si coach kasi every year he would <laughs> parang try out <laughs> training where we all go to the beach volleyball court and see kung sino yung lulutang sa sa <laughs> kasi in beach volleyball like jumping is a different different yeah. dynamic it's a beach volley kung sino yung may galaw na beach volley and then I guess he saw na I had background in beach volley and then so yun kaya ako naging reserve for um, Ate Kim and Sid and also yeah uh, yun, yun yung start and then from then on coach just decided okay you're gonna play beach volley <laughs> Um, you're, I know, and I'm thankful. Because yun then beach volleyball also helps a lot with um, reaction and vertical. So, extra practice then for me. Yeah, you everyday training, more simply, it's like in Rizal it's indoors. So how did you like um, uh, improve or enhance on your skills? No for beach volleyball, or is it like basically the same? Rin naman na parang training. Kaya when it's season, pag malapit ng season, dun lang yata kayo nagtraining for beach. Hindi kami katulad ng USC na whole year round. <laughs> so competitive, may sariling volleyball program sila, whole year round they train. But for us, parang three months, four months before, that's when we start training. And then we go into like yung Ibalong Festival, if you're um, familiar with that. It's like a festival sa Nicole uh, every year. It's like a beach volleyball tournament. So we join that just to test out our the partnership that coach chooses for that year. So yeah, yun, yun yung ano, yun yung process. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> super intense na ano. Parang we, we practice mga once twice uh, a week for beach volleyball. Oh, okay. Like, okay. For three or four months. <laughs> Yeah. How about the differences? Because sometimes people might only play indoor. Like I don't know a lot of people that actually play beach volleyball. So for you, like, sometimes what's harder? I think, and uh, what? How do you think each each of it uh like gave you the benefit of playing both? Parang ganon. How did beach help you and indoor? How did indoor help you and beach? Parang ganon. Uh, for beach, it's more of beach helping me for indoor. Oh, Kasi... I... It's more things from beach you can apply to indoor, whereas I guess, wait, yeah, yeah, from beach mm-hmm. to So I think the, yun nga sabi ko kanina, the reaction, it helps with the reaction and as well as uh, vertical. Because moving in sand, it's like it sucks you in. So mm-hmm. effort to, to move. And I think in quickness also, it helps. And no mental strength because you're bat- battling different um, environments. Yeah, for sure. Conditions, iba pa. And super rainy. There, oh. there, there, there were games na like visibility was really hard because <laughs> pouring. Um, yeah, you the different elements that you have to uh, fight, as well as the fatigue that you you encounter. Because there's only two of you, right? Also. We, Communication, I guess. I said there's only two, right? so you really have to communicate, and that also translates to beach ball, uh, to indoor. I say you also have to communicate with six other people, whereas in beach there's only two of you. Yeah. Yeah, from a fan's perspective, I feel that beach is difficult. Like sometimes, pag spin night, parang dalawa lang kayo kahabol compared to pag indoor. And per perjo may pwedeng sumalogan nun. So dapat parang mas versatile ka. You can be able to parang play libero, center spiker. Yung kailangan parang kaya mo lahat. Kung hindi, parang hindi ka pwedeng maging effective or magaling sa beach. Parang ganun. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you, na yun nga, you have a lot more coverage, di ba? Yeah. So you really have to know your movement together. Like chemistry needs to be solid, and I think I I felt that with all of my partners, but especially Kay Justine, because I I think I trained with her the most. Yeah, 